Seven months. Nothing much, you know, the whole pandemic happened this year. <laughs> so I've been on lockdown. Is that what it's been? It's just cause I was just curious, you know, cause a lot of people have been fighting. Did it take yeah. this long to get booked or were you dealing with injuries or anything? Uh, I was dealing with some health issues and um, finally got, got it sorted out, got healthy again. And right when uh, I was, you know, feeling better, the pandemic happened and then it took uh, it took t took a while right. to be able to get a fight, but yeah, I'm here now. So give me an idea because you had like this momentum building, right? I mean, you had like an amazing 2019, you know, Invicta contenders. Yeah, USC, I did. Man. So where do you feel like you're standing now? I mean, do you feel like you're 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 starting over? Do you feel like you can still build off that momentum that I thought you know kind of was really behind you? Yeah, um, I don't think I lost any momentum to be honest. I think with uh, everything going on it just it was it, it was it, it was definitely on pause but um me personally i feel great i feel i don't feel like i you know like i was gone for that long to be honest right uh fight island uh, yeah. exciting to you or not i mean did, did it mean something special or is it just another fight what do you think uh i'm not gonna lie i was really looking forward to fighting in vegas <laughs> you know backyard somewhere that's at home because i've been fighting everywhere lately but um it's it's an experience and i'm very grateful to be a part of it yeah late opponent change uh, yeah. what what does that do for you i mean does it is, is it difficult to kind of prepare and switch up you know game plans and that sort of thing or do you even do you even bother with that I, it was because i was training for bia for a while we both knew about the fight and for her to just i honestly don't even know why she pulled out um I don't know what's the reason. I hope if if I'm hoping it's an injury and I'm hoping she's okay because that's the only reason for me anyone should pull out of a fight. Uh, but different opponent, different game plan. Hopefully, still praying, still the same outcome. Nice. Do, do you know much about her? Or did you I don't. I don't know much about her. I just know that she's a jujitsu girl. I know that she is judo as well. Um, that's about it. Fair enough. Last thing for me, I mean, obviously you want to win here, but I, I do wonder if there's like more of a goal to it. Like I said, I feel like you had a lot of momentum and then you've been on the shelf for a little while. Maybe not yeah. feel that long to you, but yeah. you know, the sport moves fast. And it does move like, fast. You know, it's just about going in and getting a win or do you feel like you got to kind of remind people of, you know, kind of why there was some, some buzz around you? No, you know, for me personally, I've never been fighting to prove anything to anyone. I'm, you know, I'm doing this for me and my family and that's what drives me and that's what's got me where I am today. So I'm going to just keep, keep going. You mentioned that you don't feel like you've been away for that long. Is that, do you think, mental toughness or because you've just been physically preparing in the gym so well that you don't feel like Yeah, well, the reason I say I don't feel like it's been that long is because I've been in the gym every day. I mean, if you ask my coaches and my teammates, I don't take a day off. I'm there every single day. I take Sunday off, and that's even then it's an active recovery. I go on, like, a four-mile run, you know. So uh, I'm, I'm training every day, and I'm in the gym every day, so it doesn't feel like... Did you I've manage to keep that going during the pandemic, or did you have to take some time off, or were you able to find some training partners? During the pandemic was hard. I was doing what you what I would consider prison workouts. <laughs> <laughs> so I was in the backyard and just shadow boxing, moving. Um, thank God I have my brother as my training partner as well. So he was helping me, and he was um, he's my resting partner as well. So we were just it it, were, it, it wasn't that bad. It really wasn't. Is th this fight is a bantamweight, correct? Yes. Is this bantamweight where you envision yourself in the UFC, or do you envision dropping back down to flyweight? I am planning on going back down to flyweight. Yeah. So when there's obviously a lot of big flyweight fights, but can you even pay attention to those, knowing like you're fighting at a, a weight class up for your last two fights? Um, right now, no. I'm just really focused on this fight, and once this fight's done, then you know I'll, I'll be able to focus more on on that in the future and then uh, you talked about how difficult the pandemic and stuff was but was it even difficult to like go out and like go to the store and stuff considering arizona like probably at one point was the worst state in the country yeah. when it came to positive tests you know it, it feels uh i hate to be the one to talk about it but arizona did not feel like it was on lockdown it wasn't. It, it, no it wasn't and people refused and um you know, the stores were still full, the roads, people were walking, the parks were packed. So that's why it was one of the worst. But <laughs> no, but it was, it was uh, you know, we're doing good now.
<laughs> I don't want to talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> Downtown's not so great. No, Old Town's not so great. But. And because I live in that area, so yeah. people were not staying inside, and it was causing. I'm like, you guys, come on! Like, I want to be free now. Um, open the gyms back up. Yeah. 